Well, this week is National Suicide Prevention Week, a dark topic that we want to shed some light on. Scientists are discovering some of the mystery behind suicide. The latest research at University of Utah Health strengthens the family link to suicide. In this Healthy Mind Matters report, Heather Simonson explains they're identifying genes that may increase risk. It drives me in this. Dr. Eric Monson's research is personal. She was 15 there, uh, was in high school. He lost his sister to suicide. I still remember very clearly uh, being called down to the principal's office and my parents were in tears. His work is a legacy of love. Just be able to uh, ultimately prevent others from having to suffer the same thing. Suicide risk is partially heritable, experts say. There are spots in the human genome that appear to confer some risk. In a large study, Monson and his team at the University of Utah hope to identify gene variants and other genetic mutations to help better understand who may be genetically at risk. They believe changes in the way the neural transmitters communicate and a gene that helps regulate synapse activity in the brain could elevate the risk. Also, a genetic predisposition for PTSD among people who have bipolar disorder may also increase the risk. Those who have these genetic predispositions likely have a poor response to stress or are less able to tolerate it. Suicide is 10 to 30 times higher for people with bipolar disorder. It's suspected that because of this reduced ability uh, to, to tolerate stress or to recover from it, that they end up with longer term illnesses. Monson hopes the research leads to better screening and that it becomes valuable for families like Amanda and Abby McIntosh. She was the last gift that he could give me. Brian McIntosh, Abby's father, died from suicide seven years ago. She was definitely the brightest spot in his life. Brian's mother also took her own life. Just by looking at those smiles, you wouldn't have any idea. My husband was a great guy. When He's happy and proud of me. He gets in my dreams. He's still in my heart. But Monson says genes don't have to determine destiny. It is inherently preventable. It's a terrible outcome that steals so much opportunity, so much life from a person. But it doesn't have to be that way. Digging deeper in hopes of saving lives. For Healthy Mind Matters, Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Heather, thank you. Therapists say the most important thing you can do to prevent suicide is to reach out to let your loved one know that they are not alone. Now, if you or someone you love needs help, you can call the Utah Crisis Line at the Huntsman Mental Institute, Health Institute. It's 1-800-273-TALK. And we've put this up on our website along with other resources, ksltv.com. New tonight, two people have